when it comes to auto repair shop marketing, most of the shop owners that I speak with want more new customers. Don't you? On this video, I'm going to explain three huge problems that you have when you get new customers in one simple solution. All you have to do right now is buckle up because we're going to get started. Hey, I'm Matthew, the Car Comp Fixer. Thank you so much for taking a minute out of your day. If you're a repair shop owner and you're serious about growing your car count, income, and profits, go ahead and hit that subscriber button and ring the bell icon. That way you'll know every time I release new information. So at the start of this video, we talked about getting more new customers because virtually every time I talk to repair shop owners, they're looking for more new customers. Well, there's a couple of problems, actually three of them, and there's a simple solution that you can use that costs you virtually nothing. So let's jump into this. So one of the first big problems that shop owners face is the fact that in today's market, auto repair is virtually considered a commodity. Like yours is the same as the other guy down the street, is the same as the franchise and the new car dealer. Like as a consumer, where do I take my car? How do I make that decision? And am I getting the best service? So there is an issue of trying to stand out in the crowd and being sure that your customers come to you. Problem number two is in today's crazy economy, it costs you between 75 to $150 to get a new customer. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and do the math from the last promo you ran, whether you ran Facebook ads or you ran uh, Google ads or postcards or direct mail, it doesn't matter, but it costs you between $75 and $150 to get that new customer to just come in the door and book a job with you. So what's really important is, is that now that you've done all that heavy lifting, that you keep that customer. But the third problem that you're probably not thinking of is the fact that, especially with new customers, even after you have a perfect experience with that customer. What's a perfect experience? Let's start with your quote. Maybe you come in on a finished job below your actual quoted price, and then you delivered the car before you promised it would be done. And on top of that, you might have done a quick detailing or a car wash or something like that. You've gone over and beyond and separated that you, your shop and service from everyone else in the market. You still only have a 27% chance of that new customer coming back to you. So even though you've spent all the money, it's still not a guarantee that that customer is coming back to you. So how do you fix that? Well, thought you'd never ask. The simple fix is using a bounce back coupon. Now here's what's important to remember when you do any of this type of marketing with a bounce back. Anything that you are giving away to your customer is in exchange for the next visit. So in fact, this costs you nothing to do until the car's in your shop and you're getting paid for customer pay work. So how do you do it? Well, right now I'm gonna share my phone with you here and start out with a simple text message where you know, it would start out saying, hey Matthew, it's Jack at AAA Auto. I've got a special gift for you, check it out and a link. So you go ahead and tap that link and you head over to a bounce back coupon, which basically says, I want to buy your lunch at the next visit for service. Pretty simple. Again, I use Subway cards, uh, gift cards as an example, but this could be your local deli, this could be a local restaurant or someone that you already know and really like in your market. But as an example, a simple Subway gift card. And what's important here is we add, you know, call, text, or book. Now the other part of this is that you can tell the customer if you book in the next two, three, four days or the next week, you know, I can't keep doing this, that sort of thing, but you need to put some urgency in it. You've already got their attention by saying, hey, I wanna buy you lunch. Now you've gotta put some urgency in the offer so that they actually take action. And all they have to do is fill out this simple form here and redeeming a coupon, sure, they just put free lunch, tell you that they want you to confirm their appointment by phone, 
text or email and go ahead and book that appointment. They also have the option here to go ahead and send a text to you or to actually call you and book that appointment because let's face it, some people want to do it by phone, some people want to do it by email, some want to do it by text. But here's what's critical. You've now separated yourself one layer higher because you've given that customer a reason to come back to you. And of course, you're not going to do this when the customer walks out the door because, well, let's face it, they just finished paying you for the service that they were in for and they really don't want to hear from you right at that time. So what do you do? Well, in the GoMo text messaging system, you just call up that customer's number and schedule a text. And that could be 60, 80, 90 days out. And you have to use your own reasoning in this. And again, if you sell a lot of synthetic oil changes, you can then schedule this out any time you need it, maybe 120 days. Again, the calendar is all, you can do this anytime you want. But here's what's important to understand is of course, you know, discrimination is just a rotten word and a rotten thought, but when it comes to your customers, this can go out selectively to the customers that you want back in your shop. We talked about doing this with new customers, but what about the real good customers that you have that have been supporting you year after year through these difficult times and everything else? Send them a bounce back coupon, show them that you appreciate them, that you're willing to go a step further and get them to continue to come back into your shop. And right now, if you wanna see how all of this works, go in the links below and get started with a digital coupon that I will run for you at absolutely no charge to all of your customers. So go ahead and do that. If you're still hanging around at the end of this video, check this out here where one shop owner pulled in an extra $22,470 in extra business in the middle of a lockdown in this other video here that YouTube says you probably want to see. I'm Matthew, the Car Count Fixer. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your day. Can't wait to see you on the next video. Take care. Talk real soon.